Good morning, YouTubers. How you doing out there this morning? I want to make this video. Maybe this will help somebody. And uh, it's not really a question video, but I just wanted to try to clarify something up rather than answer a lot of comments and try to explain that way. Now, as you know, the last video I made was uh, a yard sale find video, which was, you cannot win them all. Now, I picked up from a guy that was selling a lot of stuff. As a matter of fact, he had a lot of those great big plastic storage bins full of computer stuff. I, my guess is he's probably an eBay seller and a lot of this stuff got returned. Although the packages were sealed, who knows? He could have sealed it himself. My son got ripped off for a MD-80 clone camera. He only paid $5 for it. It's stone dead. Won't take a charge, won't come on, nothing. So we boxed it up. We're just going to donate it back to the school because they get a lot of uh, stuff that don't work there anyway. So you know, we'll just donate it back. <clears throat> now, as you remember, I have a hard drive that I got from him, a 40 gig in an enclosure. I had opened that up the other day, and inside, it's IO Magic, I O M A G I C, on the enclosure. But inside is a Samsung, it's either a 5400 or 5200 RPM drive, I don't recall now, I closed it all up. IDE, not SATA. Now, I got it playing on my Windows XP. That's the only computer that I was able to format it with. It will not format, it gives errors, or it takes like 10 minutes for, it, for the computer to recognize it if I plug it into my Windows 7 computer. And it clunks, but it hardly clunks at all. Once in a great while you'll hear it in the XP computer. I've got a video playing right now. It will not play a video on Windows X, on Windows 7, my 64-bit Windows 7. It will not. The video keeps pixelizing and, and stopping. And the hard drive is clunk, 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 clunk. You can hear it when you put it, your ear up to it. I'm going to take this camera and I'm going to put it up against the hard drive and prove to you that it hardly does any clunking while it's playing on Windows XP. My Windows XP has USB 2. My Windows 7 64-bit also has USB 2. Okay, so apparently that drive was made before Windows 7 came out. Even though it's NTFS formatted, it wasn't that way when I got it, it was FAT32. But I wasn't able to format that hard drive any way, shape, or form. It gave errors. I.O. perimeters and all that stuff. BS. I don't even know what it is. Yet I take that drive and I put it in the XP computer. It reads it right away and um, no problem. So I got files on it now. When I have it on my Windows 7, a 2 gigabyte file will take approximately 10 minutes to transfer. As a matter of fact, it'll tell you 8 hours remaining. And then it goes down to 5 hours and then, you know, but the actual real time for 2 gigabytes is approximately 10 minutes. It's only a matter of seconds when I use the Windows XP. So it's not compatible, in spite of what anybody says, with Windows 7 64-bit. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But I'm going to show you this. I want to share this with you. And this is a strange one. I figured I might as well show you my strange things that I get at yard sales. And this is one of them. The stuff that I bought from that particular guy that was selling a lot of computer stuff, the only thing that's really good was the little enclosure, the little plastic enclosure that I got, SATA, five bucks, that I got my little uh, 60 gig uh, SATA drive laptop in it now and that works just fine but 
the MD-80 clone my son bought, little micro camera, you call them spy camera or whatever, uh, stone dead. This thing here, not good. Now that Kodak camera, I got that from a, somebody else. I got that from a kid. So, and that's stone dead right now. That's I can't get that to come on with no matter what batteries I put in it. But I want to show you the hard drive because that is something I want to share with you. Just so you guys will see what I'm talking about. And maybe it's something that's never happened to anybody before. You know, I get a lot of strange things happening to me when it comes to computers. That nobody else seems to have that problem. <laughs> I want to share it with you, so come on with me. Let's go to the computer. Okay, this is it. I got a notation on here for myself to say that this will not work on Windows 7. Now, listen to this hard drive. And right now, I got my Windows XP computer on, and it's plugged in to my Windows XP computer. All right, so what I'm going to do is let you listen to this hard drive first. I'm gonna put the camera right up against a hard drive here. You can hear the motor. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. All right, I'm going to play a video right now, and then I'm going to pick up the hard drive and let you listen to it. There, there is some clunking, but not much. Okay, play in VLC player. Okay, there's no sound on this computer. I don't have a speaker hooked up. This is one of my YouTube videos. Now listen to the hard drive and watch the video. No breakups, no pixelation. It's not clunking because if it was, I'd feel it on my hands. Okay. And the data light isn't blinking as much. When it was clunking, it was blinking. And the video kept stopping. But that's only if I put this into Windows 7. Okay, I don't know if this will focus, but you see that 40 gigabyte right there? I don't know if you can see it in the magnifying glass there. All right, uh, it's in the J jack. J colon, see it right, right there? Okay, it recognizes it. All right, so let me click on it. All right, this is what I, these are the folders I got. I see how fast that shows up? This is, remember now, this is on Windows XP. This is not Windows 7. Okay, now, I can't show you the music folder because I don't have speakers hooked up. But I just want you to see this. Now I want you to, sh I'm gonna show you something here. All right, see how fast that came up? All right, it's 37.3 uh, gigabytes. Why only 37, I don't know. It's supposed to be a 40, but now I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, here's what, it's a used space. I got about 10 gig, gigabytes on, on the used space. and the free space, I've got about 28.9 um, left. All right, now you keep this in mind now. All right, this just runs just fine. Now I'm gonna plug it into my Windows 7. But before I do, I'm gonna let you listen to the hard drive one more time and I hope you can hear it. You should only hear the motor running. You won't hear clunking. Okay. Okay, I want to make a note here. I only use this plug here when I had it connected to my XP computer. I did not use this one. 
I only use the one power. This is for the like the extra power if you need it. So I'm only using this one, and that's what I'm going to plug in here. Now I'm going to. This is my. This is my uh, Windows 7 64-bit. Now it's up and running. We're going to plug this in right now, and I want to show you. Okay, it's in. Nothing's happening, right? But when it does come in, it's going to say local disk. It won't say 40 gigabyte hard drive, which is what it's named. It'll say local disk. Then five minutes later, it'll show up as the 40 gig, but it'll show up errors. Now, listen to the hard drive. Listen to it. Put my camera up here. You hear it? I hope you picked it up. Clunkety, 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 clunk, clunk, clunk. It don't do it on XP, so obviously this is not made for Windows 7. At least wise for 64-bit, which is what I have. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting, folks. It's not even showing up yet. And when it does, it'll show up as local disk, J. This happens to be J also. Right now, if I click on it, it'll... It, here's J right here. If I click on it, it's not ready. See, there's nothing there. All right, we just got to wait. So I'm not going to wait that long on this video. I'm going to stop the video and I'll come back when it's when it uh, shows up. Okay, it just showed up. Local disk J. See it down there, just above the word network. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the local disk J. See the hourglass? Right here? It's going to give an error now. It's going to come up with an error, something about I.O. or something like that. I'm, I'm right-click to do the properties. You see, see how slow that takes for the properties to come up? It was lightning fast on XP. This drive is made for XP. That's what I've been trying to tell some of you people out there. So if you ever run into it, don't buy an old hard drive unless you have an old computer. Because they're not compatible with the... Uh, that's the problem. I find a lot of things on Windows 64-bit that just don't work. The 30, just, In other words, if I had a 32-bit system, I don't think I'd have all these problems. Still waiting. And I bet you it's still clicking. Yep. This noise you're hearing is me connect pushing the camera to the uh, hard drive. Okay. Well, we gotta wait. I'm still on an hourglass, so we're gonna pull it. We got nothing to lose. All right. Oh, this came up. Now, this is the, what I get. This is the property you saw on Windows. Um, you saw on Windows XP, but here it says zero bytes. Everything. So, all right. This this window was behind that, and I didn't see that. All right, we're going to plug it back in again. Got ten or fifteen minutes for this thing to. Net clicking. Okay, here we go. Do you want to... Okay, let's see what that says. This might be a problem with some files on this device. And uh, Scan and fix the recommended. Uh, continue without scanning. We're going to continue without scanning because um, this works. And now it's showing up. All right, now it shows here. See it? See the 40 gig down there, the J? See it? 
Okay, now this will go on forever. So what I do is I go down and uh, Windows Explorer, we go that way. There's my files. Okay, now remember now we're on Windows. See how long that takes? And we're still clicking here. All right, let's see, let's open these. It went light, you know what that means? Close the program. Obviously, this is just want to show you. I was going to show you that the videos all break up, but this isn't even working. We'll pull it. See, now the computer comes back to life to take it out. So this drive, <clears throat> this drive says I.O. Magic on it, but that's just the case. It's a Samsung drive inside. This is not made for Windows 7, at least 64-bit anyways. But it works fine on Windows XP. Okay, I didn't get a chance to show you how bad the videos played in my Windows 7 computer using that drive that's not compatible with Windows 7 64-bit. I have a lot of issues with things not working right because I've got a 64-bit Windows 7 computer. I'm almost certain that drive would probably work fine if it was a 32-bit system, but I could be wrong on that. All I know is that drive, I threw the box out when it was made, it, and I said it on the video, on the other video, it's made for Windows XP, um, Windows 2000, and Windows ME. That drive was made before Windows 7 came out. Even though it's uh, Windows uh, XP is NTFS formatted, this drive was a FAT32 when I got it. I wasn't able to do anything in Windows 7. You can see what I get when I try to use it there. I had to put it into my XP and then formatted it NTFS. And it stayed that way and I named it 40 gigabyte drive. So it's only good for Windows XP. The problem is if I put files on it and want to move it over to my 7, I can't do it. But that's not a big deal. It's only a 40 gig hard drive anyways. It's good enough when I'm using my older computers. Thank you very much for watching. And now you know the rest of the story. This ain't no dog and pony show! What do you think this is anyways?